All right, today's adventure, um, I figured since it's getting towards the end of summer and we're getting into fall and cooler weather, I'd do a review on my NRS endurance pants and my NRS boundary boots. Uh, it's been almost a year since I've had these and I uh, put them to use, so I just wanted to talk to them about it a little bit. And, uh, I think maybe later on I'm going to end up doing a video of uh, cold weather gear that I wear. It'll include non-NRS stuff, but for now I just want to talk about the pants and the boots that I purchased. You know, NRS is known for some high quality stuff. They're also known for some big price price tags. When I first seen the price tags, I wasn't willing to, to pay that price. Um, and then and we'll, and we'll talk a little bit about that. The, uh, the quality of their gear seems pretty nice. Uh, I, I can't say it's superb because I, I do have some issues with it and we'll talk about that but it's not too bad um, me being military retired military um, you know some of the some of the the good stuff like Gore-Tex and the army one of the best army purchases between the Gore-Tex uh, the Wooby the uh, the poncho liner uh, I think uh, and then the, the, the silk tops and bottoms uh, that were given out during uh, uh, the uh, Iraq wars I think that was some of the best equipment <laughs> in the army and uh, that stuff works and I, I still use the silk tops and bottoms as, uh, as liners but the first thing I wanted to talk about was is the NRS endurance pants the original retail price on these are usually like 150 bucks but if you look you can find them you can find them for around a hundred dollars sometimes even cheaper I did find these cheaper I got these off of uh, it was a bargain retail site they still had tags on them and I think I paid 80 bucks for them this is the endurance they're called splash pants they're not it's not a wetsuit um, and it's not made of the, the three millimeter neoprene. But what I do like about it, the, this waistband with the Velcro, it's got a stretchy waistband. You can tighten it up and it seals up the waist. I really like that. Um, the zippers are heavy duty. Zip pull and then the rubber sealed. I do like that. The material, uh, you know, I don't, it says 100% nylon, uh, the trim is 100% neoprene. Uh, this material, I like it, but if you can see here already, I, uh, I ended up ripping it on the Hobie Outback seat. I think I caught it on one of the corners and I put a rip. This is, uh, this is like double or triple layered because of the butt section. So I only put a rip on the outside section, not, not the inside section. The inside section is still sealed. But I use a wetsuit uh, iron-on adhesive patch and just kind of crossed it and sealed it. But it, again, the, the pockets are nice on this. They're big and roomy. And the ankles, the ankles have a strap as well to tighten it down. Normally what I'll do is I'll put my silk weight pants that were issued from the army under this. If it's real cold, if you look at one of my videos, I was out in uh, 20 degree t air temperature. I uh, put some uh, polypropylene, uh, another army issue underwear on under these and man I was toasty warm all day long uh, they work I bought size large and to be honest I should have bought extra large these uh, these are a little tight I'm, uh, I'm kind of a short fat guy <laughs> I'm at 200 210 pounds so I'm kind of pushing the envelope with these but they're not bad so these are the NRS backwater wet shoes um, NRS has boundary boots 
which are the blacker ones and they're taller them are the waterproof boots these are the wet shoes I opted for these because they're a little bit lighter um, and I got a good deal on them and then when I add these waterproof socks uh, my feet are, are dry they're waterproof and again I've been out in 20 degree air temps uh, in, in uh, cold water with these so I, I do know that this combo does work and then if it's warmer weather I can go without the waterproof socks and just do the shoes alone and then when it lets in a thin a thin uh, layer of water of course my body temple will heat the water up and I'm comfortable all day long but these these boots are solid they're well made they got a zipper on the side makes them easy to get in and off they uh, they got little rubber studs on the bottom these are actually pretty dirty <laughs> I've used these quite a bit. I really like them. So for size, I mean, I, I ordered the the exact shoe size that I wear, and they're fine. I have no issues with them. They're not waterproof. These are uh, just neoprene, 90% neoprene, 10% nylon. I don't know if you can, can read that or not. But uh, they're not waterproof, but they will keep you warm. What they do is they, of course, they let a layer of water in that surrounds your foot and warms, warms yourself. But again, on them 20 degree days when I went out kayaking, this is what I had on my, on my feet. These are just waterproof socks. These are not the seal skins. Seal skins are 50 bucks a pair. These were uh, an Amazon pair, 25 or 30 bucks, I think, and they work pretty well the NRS boots the one thing I will say um, the, 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 the tread is really aggressive it's awesome on slimy boat ramps but on my Hobie Outback pedals this thing tears up the the, uh, the foam on the pedals pretty good but I do get good traction and these can be found for for under a hundred dollars I'll uh, try to post some some pictures or some links of where I found them, but they're a good investment. These are probably I th I prefer these over the pants. I think the pants are nice. Uh, they're noisy. If I'm uh, making stops on a kayak trip, I always take an extra pair of pants with me because I don't like walking around on things because it's, it's like kind of like a one man band, the old 1970s corduroy man. It just makes all kinds of noise when you're walking in them. But these boots are very comfortable. I mean, I can walk around in them all day long, and uh, they're solid. The seams, the stitching on the boots are flawless. The rubber, I mean, the rubber goes all the way up. You can see kind of the overlap here where some of the, the glue's coming undone right there. I'll have to glue that. But it's still protecting the main part of the boot. And I've walked in through rocks and mud and everything else. The seams on these are flawless. Now, pants. Back to $150 pants. They could have done a better job on the seams. The seams around the neoprene right here, the threading, I've had to burn and melt. And see, you can see it's already fraying pretty, pretty good. I don't like that. That's going to fall apart. And the reason what happens is you, if your PFD or your top is rubbing up against this or even the seat back is where it's fraying the, the seams and then the bottom see the bottom is a sealed where it don't have a seam on it so that's nice if they would have done the top that way it would have worked a lot better Again, these are the NRS endurance pants. 
highly recommend it if you're going to go out in colder weather. By colder, I mean anything air temperature under uh, 50 degrees, I'd be wearing these. Thanks for watching.